Ever since I raised the windows in my kitchen, I always knew a window flower box would one day call this spot home. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I needed to do to make a custom window box for this exact space. First, decide on the width, height, and depth of your window box. Then pay a visit to your local lumber yard to purchase a few planks of good wood. Next, mark your cuts for the two fronts and two sides and make your adjoining cuts on a miter saw. Grab a nail gun, wood glue, and assemble. Use wood putty to fill in corners and holes. Use an orbital sander to smoothen out the rough cuts and wood putty. Flip the window box upside down to add several drainage holes with a spade. I call mine David. I up the ante with Zars Deccan Siding Stain in Oxford Brown. This stain is very similar to paint. I recommend using a paintbrush following the wood grain in quick, swift strokes. While the stain dried, I installed five shelf brackets into my stucco exterior with wall anchors and masonry screws. My recommendation to you is always start with a very small drill bit and work your way up to the exact wall anchor size. Once the stain was dry, I sealed the deal with Zars Exterior Oil-Based Polyurethane. Now, once she got screwed in, I added some Primo potting soil and got to planting. I picked out a hearty selection at my local nursery that I laid out right then and there to make sure she'd look perfect. I don't know about you, but I am in love. <laughs>